Hi, and welcome back to my weekly vlog. Um, this will be episode 3, and I realize if I keep doing this, then by the end of summer I will run out of fingers. It's not so good. Anyway, I figured today would just be like, I, I promised this last week, um, just casual, and I need to apologize for last week too. Um, not that anyone really cared, because no one saw it, but... Um, yeah, video went up on Wednesday, which is like the day before yesterday. It was supposed to go up Saturday, but yeah, crazy enough, crazy stuff and festival, and then Camtasia was being a jerk. Anyway, today I just want to talk about myself being egotistical as I am. Um, I just want to, you know, this weekly vlog is not just about for the little stuff and you know philosophical um, debates or anything um, it's also about my life because it is my vlog right um, and I feel like I should just give you an introduction to what I'm doing right now so I'm Maya I'm 26 years old and I study psychology. I'm pretty sure I said that in the first one, but in case you missed it, there it was again. Um, I have been studying psychology for two years now. I just finished my second year, actually, and um, I'm going to be a Bachelor of Psychology at the end of... Um, at the start of summer uh, next year, which is like the entire education is five years, so in half a year I'm halfway through. Um, other than that, not much is going on in my life at the moment because, um, you see, I used to be away into singing and music and stuff. Um, I, I sang in church choirs, but when I came out, um, when I started living as uh, a woman, I didn't want to go to, to choirs and I was singing bass there. Uh, I didn't want to go and sing bass every Sunday and have to dress up in, in nice clothes because that was a requirement for some reason. Um, understood, of course, nice male clothes. So I quit and that sucks. Um, I have another job though. I take care of, um, how do you say that, developmentally challenged um, people at home. Um, down a little further south. Not that further south actually means anything. Um, I don't know, it's um, it's people with um, brain damage, pretty severe brain damage in, in the house that I work in and it's, it's great. I love it. I wish I worked down there more. Um, but that's my job. I'm being I need to get another job. Um, I also, I don't know if you've, I don't think you've seen it, but I have some instruments. I'm over there. You see the guitar and that one there is a, um, it's a viola um, which I use sometimes pretty good. And that there is an electric violin and what you can see back here is a bass. So I play a lot of music. I used to play a lot of music but I don't so much anymore. I want to get into it again. Um, what else do I do? I play games. I play video games. Um, and I watch videos on YouTube. My life is not that interesting right now, to be honest. Um, I actually have a wish to, to start a Let's Play channel, which is the sister channel I was talking about last time. Um, and that might come up sometime soon. I have plans. Um, also, I apologize for the poor lighting state. Uh, it's summer, but being that we're in Denmark, um, summer lasts for like a few weeks tops, and and this week is not one of them. So yeah, it's pretty dark out actually. So I've been on hormones, um, you know, HRT, hormone replacement therapy, for a total of fourteen weeks, um, where four of those weeks were just the transdermal patch 
and the last ten weeks have been with um, the uh, testosterone blockers as well. Um, and that's really great. I mean, that's almost three months of that. That's, I'm feeling pretty fantastic um, compared to how I was feeling before. Um, I can definitely recommend it. Um, I wish I'd gotten into this when I started. Um, I do do. Uh, <laughs> I do make uh, daily video diaries for myself, and I actually intended to upload those, but that turned out to be just a massive clusterfuck. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but I have documentation for myself from actually going back um, four months almost. A video every day of me just talking to myself here. Um, and I think that's, you know, it's great for me because I can monitor my progress basically from day to day, from week to week, and see what really goes on in my face and my mood. Um, and I dare say it's been, it's been going up. Uh, everything, everything is coming up, Maya. That's great. Um, so I'm sorry that I don't actually have a lot to talk about. I mean, I talked about my legal name change last week, um, and that was great. So I don't actually have a lot of news for this week, which is kind of bad considering it's supposed to be casual news week. But I guess I can talk about um, what I want to do with my life, kind of. Um, I initially started studying psychology because I'm very interested in psychology. I think it's great. And there was also the underlying thing with like, maybe through this I can get a better understanding of who I am. Um, because that was before I came out as um, transgendered. Um, basically, I've known that I was transgender since I was 18. And, you know, I've known since like puberty that I was not like everyone else, you know. Some people say that their memory goes back like six years. I can't remember much from six years, but I remember stuff from when I was 10 and 11, and yeah, um, I've pretty much always known. But I wanted to study psychology because I thought that it could give me a better understanding of what goes on in here. And it has, um, honestly. And I hope to use that knowledge to, to help others in the future, not necessarily transgender people, um, just people who need help understanding what goes in uh, on inside of their minds. Um, I want to, of course, I want to give back to the trans community um, once I'm in a position to do so. I have toyed with the thought of um, becoming a uh, an expert on the uh, subject, but I fear for the moral implications of someone who belongs to a group who would um, gain from people advocating a positive attitude towards them. Um, and doing so, you know, it's the same as, well, it's not the same as, but it's the same as a banker becoming a politician and then arguing that bankers should um, get more money. I'm, I'm not sure if there's actually a moral um, problem with it, but you know, I have to consider, I have three, three years to consider what I actually want to do with my psychology degree, and, you know, I might end up being a spokesperson, I don't know. I want to, um, but I can't just now. Um, so for the time being, I want to help in another way. And that's where my Let's Play channel comes in, actually, because playing games can earn you money um, in this day and age. It's a wonderful day and age we live in. I'm not talking about, like, competitive play. I'm just talking about I can earn revenue from YouTube um, and especially if I save up enough money to upgrade my computer to um, streaming capabilities I can get money on stream um, on stream on twitch.tv 
for streaming games and other content. Um, and I would then... S <laughs> it might be a silly wish, um, but I want the revenue garnered from um, those two things to feed into a fund that I am um, going to create that is going to support transgender people who need a bit of um, you know financial support and I'm not talking about big stuff here because I know that initially the thing will not generate more than maybe a hundred dollars a month um, but it does mean that I can I can give people like and give ten people ten dollars to afford you know a train ticket or whatever something that just that they need in that situation. And I know that a lot of trans people are living with unemployment and some are living in poverty. And you now I, I, I want to do something to help those people. And I feel like these are the talents that I have right now. Um, I'm going to do what I can with them, basically. Um, so I'll keep you updated on the progress there. There are a lot of hurdles I need to get over, but I feel truly confident um, in the belief that it can actually become a successful thing. Um, what else is there to talk about? Um, I live alone in Denmark, in Aarhus to be exact. Um, I have a kitty, but she doesn't really count. I talk to her a lot, but she doesn't really contribute much to the conversation. What else do I do? Um, I hang out with friends. I visit my family. And I discuss things on the internet. Um, honestly, I'm not a very exciting person. I think. But... I hope that some of you might find me interesting enough to keep watching. Um, in any case, that's all I had to talk about today. Next week I might actually prepare something that I can talk about. Uh, I don't know if it's time to talk about my my whole life story, um, but it might be time to talk about my coming out as a transgender person. So, if you want to watch that video, um, you can subscribe up there and you'll automatically, there it is, <laughs> you can automatically get um, like a video inside your subscription box on YouTube, it's uh, kind of like magic. Um, if you want to visit my sister channel, my Let's Play channel, once it goes up, um, you can click there, maybe. Um, and, of course, if you have any comments or questions, um, you feel free to post below. Um, and yeah, I'll post links to my other social media, um, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, once that comes along. I'm not really using them as much as I should, um, but I hope that gets better once I actually start getting followers. So, um, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if you're not, I hope this video helped a little bit. Um, maybe you have something to look forward to in my next week, uh, which you can probably just watch now because you're not going to see this until the next week one has come up. Um, anyway, just from the bottom of my heart, I, I love you, and I hope you're doing well. Um, if you're not, feel free to message me and I'll do what I can. So, bye, and I'll see you all next week.